Well, I was uh, working 2005 to 2007 as a European Union Special Envoy to Sudan and Darfur. And of course, that's part of the African Horn, and then I get, uh, got familiar also with the Somalia topics. And when I returned back to the Finnish Parliament in 2007, many Finnish Somalis asked why I'm not working also on the peace processes in Somalia. And then step by step, I have, uh, I've been traveling there, I have met many Somalis. As, as uh, the Green parties were in the government in these countries, so of course it, it looked almost like a, like a tsunami of the Greens in, in, in coming to the uh, European governments. And uh, everybody of course wanted to see how the Green looks like and how the Greens are acting and so on. But it's, uh, I, I think it's, uh, it, it, it was very healthy also in the European political agenda, the environmental issues and the global issues came maybe through the Greens much more. Traditionally we have been a country that is uh, very keen to environmental issues, protecting the environment and also wanting to have these uh, stronger norms for environment, Baltic Sea protection and things like that on the, on the European level. We have also been traditionally a country that is very close links to, to Russia and, and a lot of bilateral cooperation to Russia and that also maybe brings something something additional to the European Union. Now, of course, we are just in the middle of election process and we have a right-wing populistic movement also in Finland called True Finns mm -hmm. against foreigners, against immigrants, uh, even against European Union. So let's see what kind of Finland we will have in a couple of weeks. But Well, I think Finns, of course, this is uh, uh, not very dense populated country, so we have a lot of space for our five million people and I think Finns appreciate the nature and uh, good environment and, uh, and also Finns uh, traditionally have been very tolerant. Mm -hmm. We have uh, two churches, we have the Lutheran church, we have the Russian Orthodox church here, we have two linguistical groups. Uh, Swedish speaking Finns, Finnish speaking Finns and so on and traditionally there has not been any big battles between these uh, cultural groups or linguistical groups. We have the Sami minority in the northern Finland and in the Lapland and, and, and so on. And I think of course the, the, we were traditionally a country living with the forest and forest industry and so on and then suddenly there was an, one Nokia who first made rubber boots and then started to make uh, uh, mobile phones and I, th I think the whole changes in the towards a more technological society and, and also making products like mobile phones and others uh, it's 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 a big big change in Finland of course in the, in the industries and uh, but also in the in the ways of living Finland is more urbanized well, I think um, of course the whole Europe is in some kind of turmoil the most rapid development is in Asia in Latin America and uh, Everybody is asking, is Europe dying? Um, I see, I see still a lot of possibilities for us as Europeans and, and as Finns among the Europeans. But I think we have to develop our environmental technologies. We have to make uh, environment also as one of our export products in, in here. We have uh, good technologies we can, we can develop. Also, the, all the IT sector, the communication technologies and others are something that uh, I think in the future also we Finns could be good good at.